G'day, Brian Martin with you. Uh, today I am going to talk about how it is that you actually go about teaching someone how to run, how to actually improve their running technique. Uh, put this video together because a couple of people have asked me uh, just how it is that it's possible that you can actually change someone's running style or their running technique. Um, my answer to them was it's not an easy task but it's definitely something that is possible but you do need to have quite a structured and well thought out approach um, to make it become effective. So I've put a few words up on the whiteboard behind me just to help us through discussing how it is that you would go about teaching someone how to run and this is definitely the approach that I use and explain in a lot of detail in the ebook running technique. Um, so I'll start off to begin with um, observation and reflection. Um, and the first part of that is basically learning to observe what good running technique technique is. Um, so that if you are struggling with your running, it's going to be pretty difficult to learn how to run if you don't actually understand what it is that you're aiming for. So you need to be able to start observing other runners, and you also need to be able to observe yourself running. So that comes about when you do your own gait analysis and analyze whether whether there are areas that you can improve. Um, in your running technique. Uh, the second area is um, benchmarking and goal setting. Um, so as you do that, that gait analysis, you can look at areas where you need to improve, um, compare yourself against others, compare yourself against what the basic framework of good running is. Um, have that in mind and then you can set some goals about where it is that you're actually going to try and improve. For example, if you pick up in your gait analysis that you've got quite poor uh, glute or buttock muscle activation in your running, um, then you know that that's something that you're going to have to work on. Which brings us to the next point, which is the strength and coordination area. So um, one of the things about learning to run is you actually need to practice um, activating the muscles in the right way at the right time. So the best way to do that is to undertake some strength training and the second word there is important, it's the coordination as much as the strength that is important. Um, so you can practice those correct patterns of muscle activation and movement that you can then bring back into your running. So this is all about practicing the movement. Um, so the last part I have there is then some activations and mental cues. So most people are familiar with um, various running drills. Um, you can use those and also some static holds and other activations to get the right muscles firing at the right time. And the mental side of things is just as important. You might need to actually um, trick your body into adopting a different way of moving. So it's used to going one way for a very long period of time, maybe 10 years, 20 years or more. Um, you might need to provide some stimulus to actually um, get your muscles moving in a way that is much more correct and with a good movement pattern. So that's the last part there. And Really what um, you need to do there is use all of those things and bring those into your running. So obviously the best way to learn how to run is to practice these things with some actual running. Um, but obviously you need to be quite cautious about how you um, undertake that task so you don't jump in and start doing a lot of running at high intensity um, as you're playing around with improving or making major changes to your technique. And what you see with this cycle is it's actually something that just um, continues. So it really is a continuous improvement type of exercise. So you might go through one round in this kind of fashion. Um, you begin running and you make certain improvements. And then you might come around again and start observing and reflecting again on your running and find that there's some more things that you need to work on. So it becomes a bit of a cycle. Um, and as you get better and better at your running, um, you'll find that there's less and less things to work on so you can just gradually eliminate the things that uh, are causing you problems and um, focus on the things that actually enable you to run without injury or to run faster, um, whichever your goal might be. So I hope that gives you a little bit more background about how I actually approach learning how to run. I'll speak to you again soon.